Jerry. Yeah. It's the Chris Miles Show, giving you a logical perspective, an intelligent point of view. The full 411. Live from LA, it's the Chris Miles Show with your host, Chris Miles. What's going on, people? What's happening? I hope all is well. I am Chris Miles, the host of the Chris Miles Show. I hope all is well. Hope everybody is doing spectacular out there. I am two weeks out from the car accident. Blessed to be here by the grace of the Most High God. I am here. I am um, having some pain. But you know what? The pain lets me know that I'm still breathing. So I take it all with a grain of salt. Um, Once again, I hope everybody is doing well. I'm Chris Miles, host of the Chris Miles Show. The title of the show this week is entitled The Chokehold. This is episode 52 of the Chris Miles Show. That's right. Um, A couple of things. um, Let me just say this. Um, you all, everybody out there listening to the Chris Miles show can find us on that of Spotify, exclusively on Spotify, exclusively on Twitter, um, Twitter, um, Apple podcasts, um, Google podcasts and Dreaser or where are you? receive your podcast you can find the chris miles show all right so we are here live and in living color we're going to be talking about quite a few things today one of the things i want to talk about real quickly before we go to the other episode of bringing up other part of the show we have some guests uh what is going on with we live live now no not yet Okay, I'm, I'm going to let me run through this and then you, you bring it up. What is going on with the L.A. Lakers, man? This is how we do LeBron. This is how we send this man out. This man got two years, roughly two good years left. One, my nephew said one good, one year. We're going to talk about this and more on the Chris Miles Show. Everybody stay tuned. Hold on. We'll be right back at you in a few minutes. We got to bring up the streaming aspect of the Chris Miles show. We'll get right back at you in a few minutes. Hold on. What's going on, everybody? This is Chris Miles. Um, We are in the studio today streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, IG, and YouTube. We have a few things that we want to talk about today on the Chris Miles show. We're going to try to entertain you as well as educate you in the process of everything moving forward. We are live um, um, exclusively Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Dreaser, uh, Spreaker, and we are streaming live. There are a couple of things 
that we are in the studio here today that we want to talk about. First and foremost, people, before uh, we we go any further, uh, everybody know that I was in a real bad car accident back on April the 29th. I'm in a lot of pain. Like, um, the pain is really unbearable. Um, my foot, uh, leg and foot broke, um, and it has to be elevated at all times. Um, and it's supposed to be elevated right now, but, um, you know, the thing right now for me is to try to get this podcast, uh, basically up and done, um, because of the fact of all of the intangibles that's actually tied to sponsorship and all of that. So I really can't take a day off, but, um, you all might see me grimacing in pain. Um, just, just work with me, um, and we're going to get through this thing. But before we actually went streaming live, I was asking a question. What is going on with the Los Angeles Lakers? Mr. Producer, what, what, what the hell is going on, man? LeBron got roughly two good years left. I got my nephew sitting here. What is what is going on? What's what's somebody need to tell me something, man? Like they got their ass handed to them. Man, it's hard. It's hard to be a team that that shoots at a half percentage like that. I mean, Mary already, Mary already unstoppable. Jokic, he unstoppable. They playing pretty good defense, but the key is every time they pass to an open role player, role player hit the three every time. Every time. I'm saying they not missing. If, if Caldwell Pope open, he hitting the three. If Jeff Green open, he hitting the three. Uh, Brown, the other uh, the other light skin dude, they, they they not missing. So I mean you can't do nothing but tip your hat to him, man. I hate it, you know. I talk more shit about it than anybody. I'm hurt. I <laughs> I'm hurt, but I don't wanna see the boy go down like that. Basically, what's going on, man? It's, uh, I mean, but you know, they they down 03, and if anybody can come back from zero to three, it's the king, it's the goat. So you know. You well, know, but, but, but 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 there's a problem there, and the problem is some son of a bitch is sending me. Excuse that. Let me. You are blocked. Jerome Simmons, these guys, this is what I hate about Facebook. These, these people go into people's account, man. They hack folks' accounts on Facebook. And they will send you this bullshit about send them your cash. As I'm sitting here streaming live right now, this bullshit pops up. So anyway, yeah. you, you over with uh, Jerome Simmons. If anybody gets anything from a Jerome Simmons that man's account has been hacked. Okay? From the who? Uh, it, it could be anybody. Uh, but LeBron is, you know, he can't, he can't do this by himself. So you say if anybody can come back, he can. But what about, what about the components around him? Well, the 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 problem the problem becomes the problem becomes uh, he actually has to go out here and win what three games in a row. Yeah. That, that's 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 difficult, especially when when you got guys that are firing on all eight cylinders, and I hate it for him because. Oh, they playing bad, man. They, not, they playing bad. They, they, they not playing. If you, I'm saying, you watch the game closely. They playing pretty good defense, but Denver, they just won't miss. 
I'm every out these last three games, somebody been hot, somebody been able to Murray been hot. He been able to score every game. He ain't he ain't cooling off. It's, I ain't seen nothing like it since um San Antonio swept the bro, man. When when Tony Parker, them boys, uh when none of them do. Uh Parker, who else? Dude, I can't stand um mm, I can't think the French dude. Oh yeah, uh um 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 that's him, Tony Parker. Not Parker, the other friend, dude. Oh, I lost something. Something. My sound. Okay, we back. I forgot. I, I forget his name. But shit, they, they, them boys are doing this now. But um, now let's move on, man. Let's yeah. Get your rest, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, let me connect something over real quick, people. Um, um, it's the only thing about this. But the title of today's show is called The Choco. And rightfully so, because last week we were in here, we were supposed to talk about that of Jordan Neely. The homeless brother out of New York that was put in a modified choco and his life taken. Okay? So we 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 are just hold that up there on the screen real quick. Um let me send something over. Um, this is this is very problematic. This 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 thing with this young man uh, that we see that has taken place, and I'm going to point out why it's problematic here, because you know people get mad at me for a lot of the content that I do. Okay. Yeah, people get people get upset with me. On and about the content that I do. But in the United States, we have a race problem. We got a, we got we have a serious fucking race problem in the United States. And that is that is the that is the essence of what is wrong that we see going on today in the United States is that we have a race problem. So we get this guy by the name of Daniel Neely, right? Daniel Neely raised $2 million. Excuse me. Daniel Penny. Thank, thank you, Mr. Producer. All right. Daniel Penny raised, because uh, Joy, Joy Neely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, Daniel Penny raised two million dollars. He raised two million dollars for choking Jordan nearly to death. It's crazy. Now, now the, the 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 problem the problem that I see with all of that is this: society, or I just just put it this way, white society will tell you that. We don't have a race problem. But how is it that they raise a total of two million dollars for this guy for taking this guy's life? And that that's not even now we've we've had two situations in New York. We're going to be talking about the young lady, the nurse there that accused a black man. Of taking a bicycle. This bitch and raised a hundred thousand dollars. So, so the essence, the moral of the story is, people out here, is that all you have to do is fuck over a black person, and you can raise money. So now, now you know what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on. I spent many months in California. I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the white guy. That was reckless driving, the pedophile that was in the fucking Jeep that called the black women the N word. I'm waiting for them to raise money for him. Remember, George, um, uh, what is that now? Ronald 
what's the guy in Florida? Um, Ron, Ron DeSantis. Okay. Ron DeSantis came out on part in support of Daniel Penny. There is protocol. This guy's a military guy. I got my nephew here with me right now. Okay. My nephew was special forces. Now he got shit. He went overseas and did on behalf of the United States. And I say special forces. Everybody know what that means. We talked about top secret um, assignments. We're talking, we're talking about eliminating shit. I don't want to want to, you know, a lot of shit for him fucks with him. But there's there. There are things. There are things. That even when he was deployed and they sent him out to do things. There were protocol that he had to follow. So. If he went out and put somebody in a modified chokehold. A civilian or whomever it was there when he went to Afghanistan and Iraq and all these places where they sent him. If he did it, they would bring him up on charges for that shit. So you get somebody that's able to come back to the United States. And put a homeless guy who's suffering from mental illness in a fucking chokehold. And you all raise a total of $2 million for this man. Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton did. Al, Al Sharpton did. We'll, we'll get on it. Al Sharpton did Jordan Neely's eulogy. Now there's a guy there that I know. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Producer. There's a guy there in um, New York by the name of a friend of mine by the name of Hawk Newsom. OK, Hawk, had it not been for Hawk Newsom. Y'all work with me because I'm on medication and I'm burning up on the inside. But Hawk Newsom, had it not been for Hawk Newsom this thing would be something not relevant because it was Hawk Newsom and other individuals in New York that got out and lobbied to get Daniel Neely, I'm sorry, Daniel Penny charged with murder. So, Mr. Producer, let me ask you something. Do you think, do you think he's going to get off from it? I mean, he's in he's in New York. So in New York is very liberal. Um, and, that you know, that I, I think Donald Trump is going to have a hard time there. But who am I to say? You know, Fox News. Well, it's, it's at manslaughter now. So I mean, it, it it can't go any lower than that. But right, I, I, mean. I I think I think they're gonna, the they gonna fuck over. Him. I think they gonna slap him in the wrist. I, you, you you know what I'm saying? Because because I mean, if people wouldn't if people wouldn't let out and you know Ray saying about it, then you know he probably they ain't even arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so but it's. But 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 it's always like that. They they never get arrested. They they go out. They do shit and and you know. And it, let me let me just say this because this rubbed me the wrong way. And wherever you go, this this is I have to say this, people. And we we're gonna say this. We're talking about homeless homelessness and mental illness. Wherever you go in the United States, you see it. It's Atlanta. Montgomery, Los Angeles, Chicago, Orlando, you see homelessness, okay? And you see, majority of the people you see out there are Caucasian people. But Caucasian people have an option at this point when it comes to this. Because 
I tell you this all the time, Mr. Producer. Me and my nephew was at Starbucks here um, shortly after. Well, he was taking me to an appointment, but we saw a white guy that was homeless. And he was begging for money. And I told my nephew, I said, listen, he's he's out there because he wants to be out there. He has every opportunity in the world to excel at whatever it is he wants to do. We're talking about a white homeless guy. And let me tell you what I mean by what I'm saying. You can take that white guy that we saw out there that was homeless, standing in front of the Starbucks. You remember, right, nephew? Mm -hmm. I told my nephew this. I said, you can take that same white guy that we see out there that's homeless, out there begging for money. Take him inside, wash his ass, cut his hair, and Starbucks will hire him or Walmart will hire him as a manager over the store fucking over black folks and everybody else. Society can get mad about what I'm saying, but these are the facts. And these are the facts because you look at Daniel Penny and Daniel Penny has raised two million dollars for choking the life out of a black man. You got this white woman who's who's who is a um nurse raise a hundred thousand dollars by what Karen Brian Donham and many other white women have accused black men of doing. And in in the receipts that she has doesn't line up. We're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into it. In a second. Let's 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 take a break. Let's take a break. But let me just say this in closing, Mr. Producer. The situation in New York, what happened to this homeless black guy, is very tragic. But it also points out something that we know out here in society. That there's a double standard and the things that we see going on out here are bad when they pertain to people of color. And white supremacy that most people will tell you do not exist. Oh, yeah, it it exists on all levels. It exists. And one of the things we have to do when it exposes itself, we have to expose it. So I'm saying this with no bias attached to it. This guy, Daniel. Penny needs to be charged, prosecuted or prosecuted, charged and prosecuted and sent to prison for taking this man life because there were people there that were telling him that you were going to kill him. And he was relentless in what he did. And for anybody to send this man money, for anybody to make excuses and to say we are supporting him because he was military, you got homeless military People out there right now, we're talking about fucking homeless military people that you all could send money to. But you ain't sending money to them and they're homeless and they went and served the United States. But you send money to a murderer. Those are the facts. Let's take a break. Take a break. You're watching the Chris Miles show. We'll get right back at you in a few minutes. Go to the bathroom. Number three, be a light. Inspire somebody. And they did without a shadow. 